Welcome back to Learn Piezo. Free online course about piezo electricity. And today we're going to be finally beginning our discussion of piezoelectric materials. So initially I want to explain this idea of a dipole. This is fundamental to understanding uh, piezoelectric materials. So first we have a, let's say a material. Let's just draw a material in 2Ds. You know, we have atoms, right? And let's just draw like a generic material plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus. You know, the negative wants a plus, and these are all, you know, bonded together somehow or another. And now. Assume these are all evenly spaced, let's say with the dimension L, or let's say A, and these are evenly spaced here with the dimension B, and all of these are evenly spaced out together. If I ask you, where is the center of positive charge? So you take all the positive charges here, and you look at where the center of it is. You would find that the center of positive charge is in the middle. It's right here. And now, if you look, ask me the negative charges, you know, what's the center of the negative charge? It's also exactly in the middle. So the center of positive charge and the center of negative charge are the same. Center of positive charge is the same as the center of negative charge. You know, there are, they are the same thing. Thus, we have a nonpolar material. A non-polar material cannot be piezoelectric. And this is the case with almost all, of mat all materials where the center of positive charge and negative charge, if you look at the big span of things, if you look at a molecular level or, uh, you know, in a, in a you know, you one crystal unit of the material, you'll find that the positive charges are uh, the same as the negative charges. If you if you add and you uh, and you figure out uh, the relative location. So this also has to do with the uh, dipole, and the dipole is defined by the distance between the charges, and the di the dipole moment. I'll call it like this. Uh, that moment is related by the distance and it's related by the charge, so Q. What is the dipole moment? The dipole moment is equal to Q D. And we define the dipole moment, the, and it's a vector. So it's a vector unlike electric field. So electric field it goes from positive to negative. So, but the dipole moment you know, it goes from negative to positive. So in this case right here, it would go negative to positive. This is the dipole moment direction. So we'll just call this distance d. This, this is going this way, and also this is we can either put a we'll put a vector on this d distance because it's going from negative to positive. So in a real case, in a real material. We can understand that maybe the dot, maybe the center of positive charge and negative charge aren't equal. So let's say we have this this material. These are fictitious fictitious materials, um, positive, negative, positive. You know this will go continue on forever. Um, negative, positive, negative, positive negative, positive. And in this picture again, assuming these are you know these are equally spaced. Um, the center of positive and negative charges are the same. But what happens in piezoelectric materials is that this atom right here, it's no longer sitting there. It's sitting slightly above its original position. And when that atom changes its position, it creates a dipole moment. So now we have more positive charges on this side and then therefore we have, when this positive charge went to that side, it also left its you know, impression of a negative uh, hole. So we have a positive charge going this way, 
let's say it displaces for some thermodynamic reason it goes up and then the negative charge goes and you know we, we automatically get a negative charge on the other side so what's the dipole moment negative to positive opposite to the dielectric uh, opposite to the electric field so we get a we get a dipole moment like this it's what it's called a polarization actually so we get a spontaneous polarization which is called that and I'll explain a little bit later but this is just to understand here that in Peel's electric materials they are polar materials with a spontaneous dipole moment uh, the spontaneous polarization which we'll be learning a little bit about later um, uh, is defined as the orientation of the dipole of the spontaneous dipole moment spontaneous meaning we didn't apply any electric field it's we just left the material as it is and the, it actually is a polar material with this dipole moment so dipole moment simply means the center of positive charges and negative charges aren't the same and it is defined again by this relationship where we have the distance uh, which we can call whatever we want we'll call it we can call it R this is nicer distance from the negative this is from the negative to the positive and then the charge amount so basically you take a like an, a an average of the you know the distances you add all these distances plus the charge from a given point and you realize do the negative charges and positive charges coincide if they do it's polar no p is electricity if they don't coincide that means it's a polar material and if it's a polar material then we have a piezo electricity so now in this uh, you know lecture uh, this short video we've introduced the idea of an orientation existing in a piezoelectric material so take an example of this piezoelectric material it's going to have a dipole moment commercial available materials will have dipole moments so in, in a real material uh, we'll, we won't discuss the finer points yet uh, but understand for a pulled, pulled polycrystal material pulled sorry Pole polycrystalline material will have a preferential orientation of the dipole moment. So we'll have this arrow indicating uh, up or indicating down, or this arrow could be, you know, could be directed like this uh, in this material. It just basically tells us that you know for the on the atomic scale there's going to be like some ne some positive charges here and some negative charges here positive negative there's going to be some imbalance going on within the material which is going to cause this dipole so to speak the non balancing of electrical and mechanical uh, electrical uh, positive and negative charges within the material mm -hmm. within a space constraint they're 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 evenly uh, you know there's as much positive charges as negative charges so now with a positive and number of n negative charges, they're equal. But if we're talking about the number of negative charges times the R is not equal to the negative, the positive charges, um, and the R. So therefore, uh, we can we can understand um, this construction there is a there is kind of an orientation and we'll be talking about why is this orientation called the spontaneous polarization why it's important and what it has to do with piezoelectric material properties